Hey everyone, we wish you a great new year. And many happy landings. And we have some exciting news for you. Yeah, this week, just two days ago, uh, the German Civil Aviation Authority, LBA, uh, issued a permit to fly for our uh, Mustang, and in this case for serial number four. And also, please check out the latest blog, which is all about the firewall forward. The engine which we currently use is the Rotax 915 IS. It is a quite modern engine as this engine is already fader controlled, which means there's no need for a condition lever. All those works is done by this electronic unit. The engine is a four stroke, four cylinder boxer motor and it can be operated with dual fuel, so AF gas and MO gas. Another great feature of this engine is that it is turbocharged and it has water-cooled cylinder heads, which increase significantly the operational envelope of this engine. And it also allow us to keep the original cowling shape of the Mustang in true to scale portions. In that view, you can see that there are two areas. In blue, there is all the area for the safety systems, for example the parachute, and in the front you can see the engine with all its auxiliaries. The cowling at all is split it into three parts, and this is the upper front part, which you probably remove time to time to do some inspection or some basic maintenance. This cowling can be quite quickly deinstalled or installed, and it is connected with quick fasteners. Here you can see the rear upper cowling, which is also fully made from carbon fiber. And you can see there is the cutout area, which is um, useful to shoot out the rescue system. As an alternative, that can be used for a second door to have access to an optional baggage compartment in the front. The optional forward baggage compartment you can see here where at this aircraft is the optional parachute installed. So either you install the parachute or you keep the area clear and you can use it as a second baggage compartment, which is an alternative to the rear baggage compartment, which is located behind the rear seat. Also other emergency equipment can be located here. For example, the emergency locator transmitter ELT. Here you can see the overflow bottle for the water-cooled cylinder heads and also the fuse box for the electricity of the entire engine installation. As both are located quite up there, you have great and simple access to both units, which you may need for some standard maintenance purposes. Here is the oil bottle, which has a capacity of about one gallon which is also well accessible for the pre-flight inspection and also to refill the oil. Of course, you have also access to it with the cowling installed. Here you can see the inspection door. As an option, you can equip the aircraft with an alternator, which gives you additional electrical power. It is connected with a belt to the propeller shaft. Also, without the optional alternator, the engine is generating electrical power by a generator which is feeding the battery. The installation of the battery you can see here and what you can also see is that there is not that much electrical harnesses required so it is a very simple and easy installation of electrics. Beside you can see the belts for the optional rescue system. Those belts are installed at the side walls and again as alternative those side walls can also be used as baggage compartment. Pending on the avionics installed, this area can also be utilized for some antennas. If everything is properly installed, the engine just start like that, quite as you know it from your car. And if you want to see how the engine indication look like, this is an example with Dynan. You get all the parameters well 
indicated another final overview to give you an idea and an impression how it looked like in the final installation. We hope you liked the video and if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. 2023 is going to be a massive year for us. Um, we're going to all the shows, we're going to, going to go to Avalon in end of February in Australia. Uh, next stop is Sun and Fun, then the Aero Critics Hafen, Oshkosh and probably again to the Reno Air Races. So there will be plenty of opportunity to see the SW51 Mustang live and uh, to meet the team and ask you questions and hopefully we can welcome you to the fleet this year. Yeah, so stay tuned, there will be a lot to see. Yeah. Woo. <laughs>